hello my friends how are you doing today today i am going to be showing you how to use the pieces of materials from the tailoring shop as a raw material to produce your turban yes pieces like this as in piece of clothes from the tailoring shop they are actually raw materials for your turban i think after today's video you will go searching for pieces of materials from tailoring shops because it's going to save you money and it will give you the same result so the measurement we are using is eight inches by 31 or 32 okay by 32 that's the length of the material i would be using you can go above that hmm? that is you can go like by 40 depending on how long you want your pattern to be on your turban okay so quickly before i go into explanation if today is your first time uh discovering creative ends international please do not forget to subscribe before leaving this channel today if you love my videos aha and also you can recommend my channel to other persons that you think are interested in making ed ways because creative ends international is all about ed fashion yes everything that has to do with ed ranging from auto gele to turban fascinators art zara cap and just mention them all sort of fascinating things for the ed is here okay so if you are a beginner you are welcome to this platform i believe you will learn a lot from me so please do subscribe before leaving today and also don't forget to hit on the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever i upload a new video all right this video is going to be a very short one so i'm pleating the material that i just showed to you now i am pleating them so you can do a one direction pleat or a double-sided pleat that is folding just to the left or folding one to the left and one to the right so we are just going to do the double-sided pleat and we are going to be pleating and pinning it down so because of the way that uh, because of the way that need pins are now you know how pins are so because of that we have difficulties trying to pin but i try to like get the sharp mouth pin you know so you just try to pin down the patterns pin down the patterns do a double-sided um pleat one to left one to right one to left one to right just like that but like i said you can do one-sided pleats that is all one way it can be all to the left or all to the right so you just pin it down so after pinning it down you will cut out a separate uh, material so you can see that after pinning this is how it looks we are going to cut out a separate material that we are going to use in covering it now this particular uh, method is optional this because it is not the only way you can close this uh pattern that is you can just decide to fold this uh pleated part that you've done into two so it and turn it out it's going to give you the same result even a better result but if you want it bigger or if you choose to close it this way it is also very very okay so i've taken it to my sewing machine and i am done sewing it together so you can see how the pleated part is looking after sewing so it will be time for me to put the cover the part that will cover the back on it and i'll also take it to the sewing machine and i'll sew it and come back to you so i'm done with that i'll just trim off the ss part and then i'll turn out uh, the right side so this uh, pattern is going to appear like ruffles you know you can do ruffles in any way in any style that you like any method can bring out ruffles for you and now back to the real deal we are going to use 
this piece of fabric to fill the ruffles yeah so in place of fiber instead of going in search of fiber trying to buy fiber all over the place just get these pieces stock it stock your sack full with it as a stock it when you see them so that they don't put dirty on them before you see them go to the tailoring shop tell them please when you have pieces don't add your um um perishable uh, trash to them separate them i will come and pack them get a sack and just load them load them you don't need to go and waste your money to buy fiber i'm just telling you it's just a secret i'm telling you now especially if you don't know before and if you're a beginner you don't need to waste your money to buy fiber this is a raw material for us just get sack and stock it in your packing store and you use it you don't need to buy fiber it is going to reduce cost in the business of production we look for anything that can reduce our cost so long it's going to give you the same result why are you going to bother your head over that so we use this just to fill our ruffles and everything you think you can do with fiber you will do with this except when you are creating balls anyway you know when we create balls we create balls with fiber you cannot create a smooth ball with your pieces but you can stock the pieces it's not going to smell it's not going to get bad just pack it somewhere neat and just keep it well anytime you need it you can just lay your hands on it hmm? yes so this is today's secret i hope you love it i hope you love it i hope you like this one this one this one that i made you to discover today so from today just go to the tailoring shops close to you and begin to pack their pieces and even the pieces you yourself you are using you don't need to throw them away get a sack and stock them just keep them neatly all right bye my video is done for today bye